told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look This is Sandeep Reddy, welcome to Electric Vehicles. The Electric Vehicle Expo is happening in the Pragati Maidan, Delhi. Now uh, we are with the Sandeep. Just have a look into this Explore uh, text. So, uh, hello Sandeep. Hello. So, uh, if, if you don't mind, can you uh, uh, give a short uh, description on yourself and your company? So, basically, uh, this is a completely made in India EV. So, the design, uh, we made it around uh, Basically, scrambler. So it is a mix of a scrambler and a, like a cruiser type bike. And uh, the motor which we are using is 1.25 kilowatt mid drive motor. And uh, the battery pack is also made by us. And the range is around uh, 100 kilometers. It goes from 80 to 100 depending upon the riding style which you go through. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, all the things are in house and we have designed it. And the top speed, uh, we have tested this till 68, but uh, to be on a safer side, I will say 62. Uh, you can say gradability is also good. We have checked that also. And uh, anything more, if you want to ask, I can tell uh, you. Is there any driving modes for these uh, bikes? Yeah, basically this bike comes with three driving modes. Uh, first is Eco, City and Sports. Okay. So in all the three different modes, you get a different amount of power to the wheel. And the driving experience is also changed depending upon the type of acceleration which you get while you accelerate the vehicle. Okay, uh -huh. you mentioned that the top speed is 68, 62. 68 is what we have tested on road. Okay, yeah. the expected is 100. No, no, 100 is the range. Range and for the single charge. For a single charge, right. Okay. So, uh, as you said, uh, the range is 100 kilometers. Yeah. Does it work in the third mode? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. In the third mode, if you go, 80 is the minimum. Like, uh, if uh, one person is sitting on this, and if it is in third mode, 80 will definitely be there. Okay. Yeah. But if it is in like dynamic conditions, like uh, second mode, third mode, it is changing, it will uh, go above 80. For what sure. if I prefer the first mode? See, first mode I will tell you. Suppose you are in a traffic jam. Okay. okay the bike will not go beyond 20 or 25. If you are uh, walking in a traffic jam, so uh, not walking, sorry, uh, if you are riding in a traffic jam, so for that you will go for first mode. Even if you accelerate full, the bike will not go beyond 25. So this is what we want from a vehicle. Like if you are in a different driving condition, the driving experience should be totally different. So first mode, I can't even cross more than 30 or 28. Yeah. In the second mode? In what second about mode, the second mode? Yeah, so this goes like uh, 25, then it goes 40, then above you can go till 62. 62? Uh, yeah, 62, 68, it depends upon the length of the track which you drive now. 68 we have tested, it goes till 68. Is the same uh, for the second and the third mode? Uh, you mentioned that the test uh, speed is 68, right? Yeah. So, so, you mentioned that in the second mode, you can go up to 60 or 68. First, it goes till 25. Mm. Second is, it uh, goes till 40. Then, it is 68, the third mode. In the third mode, 68. Mm. So, is the battery is removable? No, the battery is because uh, the battery size is quite big. Uh, we have used uh, a very big battery size. So, that's why it is a permanent uh, thing. So, uh, like uh, those who are staying in the apartments, they can't even charging in the parking level, right? Uh, so, uh, 
are you suggesting any things no, for we them? have we have a solution for that okay. see what we are planning is we are planning an on board charger okay. the charger will be inside it you just have to uh, plug a single wire from a 16 amp socket directly to the vehicle so via a normal 16 amp charger you can get it charged if you are uh, like if you uh, live in apartments na uh, three or four apartments there is always a socket available downstairs for that apartment okay. so you can use any socket and directly charge it there okay that's fine and uh, you gave uh, uh, the petrol model right uh, yeah. is is there anything uh, anything in that uh, you just gave no, the model no see uh, we can make a very radical design of an ev Oh. but right now the conversion is taking place uh, taking place you know because right now most of the people they know about uh, they ride uh, ic engine bikes so to to get the same feel we have designed this but this is designed for purpose there are two purpose for this tank firstly you can use it as a storage tank storage uh, yeah it can get easily open and you can carry your stuff here and another thing is you can also like put your on board charger inside it Okay. Yeah. So it's a, right now it's empty. So right now it's empty. In the future, you are going to uh, develop it for uh, charging. Uh, no, charging. Uh, it is for both. You can put a charger also, and okay. if you want to put your stuff also, you can also put it here. Okay. We Suppose can, uh, you are a student. You have two three notebooks, so you can put it inside. Is the notebook uh, space sufficient for yeah. this? Yeah. Uh, uh, can you show it for me? See, actually, right now in the production model, the space will go till here. Okay. So this is our prototype vehicle, but when it goes to the production, the space will be much more than this. This bend will come till here, and this whole thing will be get opened. Okay, in the yeah. future. In the future, uh, it's not going in future. To... In the same model in production. In the production. Yeah. Apart from this, uh, we also have a smart app. Uh, you can directly connect that app to this vehicle, and all the data will be on the app. And from app, it will go to our servers. So remotely, you can also. check all the things which are going on this vehicle what is the trip what is the distance what is the top speed everything you can remotely access even we can uh, track the charging to uh, exactly. how much it is so what is the charging status like uh, uh, like how much current is drawn from the battery or uh, like drained into the battery everything can be like seen in the uh, software and the how about the motor uh, can you please explain a uh, briefly explain about the yeah motor? basically uh, it is a 1.25 uh, kilowatt motor it uh, goes peak till 4.5 and it is a mid drive motor and uh, yeah this is the thing if you want the torque okay. on the wheel is around 126 newton meter and we have also checked the gradeability and all these things because for evs now most people say that it doesn't climb on the hill yeah it doesn't climb on the slope so we have also checked that we have kept that in mind and we have designed this thing in such a way that the drive uh, the rideability is quite good so uh, what is the capacity of the bike uh, like uh, if a person is a uh, 200 kg 250 we have tested this for 250 apart from the bike you can carry 250 kg you can carry 250 kg yes okay and uh, how the price parts work for the company See, i mean this this bike. was our main concern when we were like on the table and when we were trying to design this bike we uh, we thought that we should make a bike which is like open to all the people so we have kept it around 90 to 95000 so that uh, it is in comparison with the an ic vehicle suppose splendor so it cost around 85 to 90000 so we have kept the price low so that it is like available to all the people okay all the components used in the bike was from india or from did you india. expect anything this was a core uh, this was our core concern that we should try to minimize the import from other countries because it creates a dependency it uh, creates a hurdle because the logistics it cannot be controlled by you so we have sourced all the things from india itself we have uh, oems uh, in india and we have given them the design so they will provide us all the things according to our design okay like uh, you have the special uh, uh, special designers for you yeah uh, actually we design the things we test the things we have a like uh, research facility we do all the things then we select a vendor we give them the requirement and then we take the same thing from them so you are totally based out of indian company totally based out of indian company oh that's fine so uh, now uh, now i'm going to uh, forward this to mr r and d engineer uh, who is i yeah i am hi i'm mohit i am r and d engineer i handle the design of the bike yeah now we have the mohit uh, he is r and d engineer he is going to explain a few more things uh, from the bike and the uh, uh, about their future plans 
Yeah. yeah more so more this bike design is inspired from the scramblers like uh, Ducati scramblers and many more scramblers. It's actually a genre. So that we have taken from RX100 designs and multiple bikes we have taken and then designed this bike. So what we are now planning is the this bike is having a chain drive and mid drive motor. So the repair of this bike is very easy. Local mechanics and can repair and the parts involved in this are available in the market easily because they are generic parts. Now whoever buys dealerships from us or distributorships whatever they buy they need technical staff for the technical staff for the quality of the knowledge that technical staff is having we have started a electric vehicle skill development center collaborated with SRM University so we offer four types of courses like the basic level course introduction to electric vehicles electric vehicle design and architecture battery technology design and architecture and IOT and embedded systems multiple courses are also there that provide uh, service and maintenance knowledge to those who are diploma holders or ITI holders and these courses are basically for the BTEC graduates and any EV enthusiasts who want to learn something about electric vehicles. So the first duration introduction to electric vehicles is a four months, right? Four months course. And uh, coming to the uh, electric vehicle design and architecture is six months. Six, six months, months yeah. And uh, coming to these uh, battery design battery technologies, technologies, four months. Four months. And coming to the IoT, IoT and embedded system is four weeks. Four weeks. So yeah. uh, in this uh, time period, uh, they will complete the course. Yeah, they are practical and theoretical collaborated. Practical, we have a laboratory set up with machines of worth 1.6 crores that are actually used in the industry. The battery manufacturing, we have been manufacturing batteries since five years. So we have used the same types of machines to the infrastructure development so that the students can learn whatever the things are going in the industry through uh, close basis. So uh, is this a free of uh, cost? Or no, they are chargeable. Chargeable. Okay, what, what are the charges uh, going charges, to be? Charges, uh, the students or whatever who wants to know can visit our website exploreev.com and they will get to know whatever the course is there. Second website is specifically for ESDC Electric Vehicle Skill Development Center that is ESDC.in. They can visit that site and get to know the details. And well, you are also open for these uh, dealerships, right? Yeah. How this dealership works? Yeah, we are open for dealerships, distributorships, exclusive dealership rights also. Okay, uh, if anyone are, are interested, they, uh, simply they can visit your site or you can they can uh, easily call you. Right? Yeah, yeah, they can directly call us. Uh, okay, uh, this is all about these uh, Explore, uh, Explore Bike Friends. Uh, so, if you are looking forward for any dealership, uh, we will provide the contact numbers in the description. So, just uh, have a look into it and uh, if you are interested, you can uh, contact them. Or else you can also directly uh, visit them through the website. So, you can uh, see all the things in the website and... Uh, take the decision from you. So uh, this is all about the bike. So friends, uh, this is all about the today's video. So if you like the content, uh, like and subscribe. If, if you still have any queries, feel free to uh, comment in the uh, comment section. And uh, for more updates, subscribe to our channel. Go green, go like it.